What's up ladies, my name is Patricia, also known as God's Design here on YouTube and welcome to my channel. I'm really excited because I have a brand new product to share with you guys. First of all, I want to say shout out to this subscriber, let's put it right here, for um, suggesting this review, okay? So she asked me to do a review on this product in one of my videos, and I was like, what? I didn't even hear about it, like, wait, wait a minute, what's that? By the way guys, we do have a little bit of an intruder in our video. For those of you guys who subscribe to my vlog channel, you guys know my new baby already. His name is Levi. Say hi, YouTube. Say hi, YouTube. So he's on my lap right now because he cannot leave my side, okay? And that's because he's just, just, ooh, y'all, I'm working on it. The product is right here. Bam. Maybelline's Matte Plus Poreless Fit Me Foundation. Yes, Maybelline Fit Me. Are you excited about it? Because I am. Let me tell you why. I actually really like the original formula in spite of the fact that I am oily I still like what it did for me um, in the first few hours it gave like this light glow dewiness that eventually turned to oil grease dripping off my face nastiness right but before that it's oh, wait wait a minute all over the place you know why it's because I'm tired I just came home from work and it's time to go to bed okay I worked all night that's it I'm souped up on coffee because I know I had to do this video but I'm gonna get it together so consequently I would only wear the original formula on the days where I knew that I would only need about a three to four hour wear on my foundation so the fact that the you know Maybelline came out with a matte version of this is just really exciting let me tell you what the claims are is it in English they have in English though. Mattifies and refines pores, matches natural tone, natural seamless finish. Okay, then it goes on in French. Okay, and my color is, my color is, my color is, I'm gonna say it again, my color is, because I'm not gonna ask, is 330 Toffee Caramel. Tell me this don't look five shades too light. Okay, this foundation cost me $7.99 and I bought mine at my local Target. Now, you may, depending on when you see this video and when you go buy it, may have trouble finding this foundation. I know I did. I went ahead and bought it on Ulta's website because they had buy one, get one half off. Then I had a $3.50 coupon. Um, and so I went ahead and bought the foundation. And I also went ahead and bought the powder. Yes, it does come with the powder. We got buy one, get one half off. But then I went to my local Target. And let me, something said, something said, go look where the foundation's at under the Maybelline section. And so I did, and guess what? I saw the regular original formula, and then I saw some of these mixed in. So I went and, you know, me being who I am, I went and found me a, a representative, and I said, hey, wait a minute, I want this, but y'all don't have it in my color, and it's mixed in with these other regular ones. She was like, ooh, my bad, these ain't even supposed to be out on the floor yet. Um, until we do our reset. But since you already saw it, let me see if you got our, you know, your color in the back. I said, all right, cool. So she brings me out toffee. There is one color that's deeper than this. You can find it in Harmons, Bed Bath & Beyond, and I guess some scattered CVS's, Rite Aid's, uh, Dwayne Reed. Yeah, until, like I said, if you're watching this video way after the fact, then you probably can find it now. Real quick, don't be confused. The packaging is very much the same. If it don't say matte or uh, plus poreless and then has this blue line under it, then it's the wrong one. Let me tell you why, because Maybelline did something smart. What they did to their original formula, the original formula is no longer the original. It's called dewy plus smooth, okay? And then this is the matte plus poreless. I ain't mad at them because that's what it is. It gives you a nice smooth look that's dewy, okay? And this is supposed to be matte plus poreless. Okay, so let me get, <laughs> let me slow down and take you guys to the clip where I was actually applying this foundation. Take a look. You guys can see what kind of coverage this foundation gives. I'm going to be using a completely clean Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. I chose this one because I like it, but mostly because it was already clean and I don't want this product to be mixed in with anything else, okay? So I'm just going to dab that on right there. And then, ooh, 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 ah, okay, all right, let's make it, let's make, ooh, <laughs> ooh, why do I do this to myself, why? Okay, all right, let's blend it, let's, let, let, let's see how it works, let's, let's go. Oh, have mercy, Lord. Mm -mm. As I blend it, <laughs> it doesn't look as bad. As I'm putting it on, I do notice that it does have pretty good coverage. And it's looking better, you guys think? And what I can say is this thing dries fast, okay? So work fast with it. And I had a feeling, because all these ever matte, long-lasting, prolong, all these long wear type of products tend to 
dry really really quickly what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn off this light so you guys can see what this looks like in natural lighting because I have natural and artificial lighting right now so I'm gonna turn off the light now in natural lighting it doesn't look that bad I'm touching my face right now it is super super duper lightweight it definitely has a matte finish and I haven't even powdered it like I don't even feel like I need to right now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my camera my digital camera and I'm gonna go ahead and go to a darker lit area and use the flash and see what kind of look I get all right so I'm looking at the photo right now and it's just the foundation nothing added to it and uh, I don't quite like the way it photographs now I don't know if it looks ghostly because <laughs> the shade is slightly off or if it's that's just the way it photographs that's something that I'd have to ask, ask you guys who have used a product before um, to tell me whether this product um, photographs well on you those are my initial reactions <laughs> of just the foundation alone what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wear this tonight and I am going to wear it for the 13 hours that I will be working and I will uh, also put powder on it because most people don't wear their face just with the foundation but I just wanted you guys to see plainly what the foundation looks like what's up guys so I just came back from work and this is what it looks like so we lost some product in the process um, I wish the lighting was better so you guys could see but we lost some uh, product in the process. However, I do want to note how matte my face looks, okay? Um, and this after, and like I said, it doesn't boast to be long wearing, but it, what it does boast is to be matte and to be poreless. As far as the matte part, I could definitely vouch for that. Um, but yeah, we lost some product um, along the way, but that's supposed to happen, you know, that happens with wear and tear and then you touch your face whatever so you lose product transfer things like that but I must say I'm rather impressed I'd love to sit here and talk to you guys more about how I feel about it I'm actually gonna wear this I think for one more day before I give you guys a final review and then come back and talk to you guys about it I was expecting this foundation to fit me okay so I was looking to see what it would do over time and um, I must say that it did um, I guess the word I don't want to use the word oxidize but it did adjust itself to my skin tone probably not as much as I would have liked it to do liked it to but it did however in the morning much of the foundation was gone I look for stuff that are long wearing that at least have the ability to take me there because of my work schedule and this didn't quite make it so I would probably say maybe seven to eight hour wear um it still was looking good during that time apply the foundation or use the foundation again and it is the foundation that I am wearing right now so I wanted to try it again because I want to give you guys a first impression plus review because I think it's really important because sometimes the way you feel about a foundation right out the gate you may feel different later on let me let me let you know how I feel about it, it definitely gives you that blurred type of foundation look more than I think I've ever seen in a drugstore foundation so take a look I mean I mean you could still see through um, the foundation I would definitely say it's like a medium coverage um, you can build it up to almost full but not all the way um, as you guys can see it, it has adjusted to my skin um, this is after a 14 hour wear but I did touch it up for the purpose of this video because I didn't want to come here and intro looking all jack black but I did take a video clip of what it looked like earlier in the night it was probably 10 hours in or maybe nine hours in so I'm gonna show share with you guys what that looks like um take a picture at work turn off the lights and dark and dark lighting and then you know flashed it to see what it would look like and it didn't look as bad as the initial picture earlier before okay so final thoughts I like the foundation I do I really wish it was just a shade darker because though it did adjust to my skin because the way it looks in the tube is not the way it's, set, it's setting on my face right now but I still think it's a tad light what do you guys think let me know down below do you guys think it's a tad light or do you think it's fine um, I my fear is during the summer 
this foundation would work. But the summer is when I need this type of foundation. You know, something that's matte, something that, you know, gives you that blur, that look so that you don't see, you know, your large, you know, pores, like especially that I have. Um, but one thing I know about Maybelline, which I really, really like, is that they expand their colors. You know, usually they come out with a set of colors and then they expand later. You know, even in the regular line, you know, I turned around, I wear 355, I turned around and then they had a 360. I was like, what? Wait a minute. So they got a darker shade to accommodate, you know, our us darkest consistent. So I wouldn't be surprised if this line does well that they'll expand it. I can definitely get away with it, but it's not something that I would use if I knew for a fact I was taking pictures just because I wouldn't be too comfortable people flashing, posting things on Instagram, and I look a hot mess. As far as the claims, it says mattifies and refines pores. Check. Natural seamless finish. It doesn't look super fake. No, it doesn't. Matches natural tone. Did I say that? Matches natural tone. Yeah, kind of, but not much as I would have liked. Then again, I might have the wrong color. We don't know. As far as the powder, the powder, I like what the powder does with, like, you know how they say, oh, if you buy shampoo, like, use it with the conditioner for the best, you know, results, blah, blah, blah. These are actually a pair that work well together. I really like it. But the <laughs> color of the powder is even more disrespectful than the color of the foundation. Levi don't lick it. And, <sighs> but I do have it on, okay? And so there, it's more... It's, I want to say it's like leaning on the translucent side, like it doesn't have that much pigment to it, but it does do its job and that is to mattify. And I like the finish that it gives the foundation. What do you guys think? I, I really like this. Like it looks, I'm looking at the viewfinder and it looks really good on video. I'm sorry guys that things aren't perfect in here. I didn't adjust my eyes. The only thing I did was add this lipstick, fix the blush and you know, gave myself a little more coverage and then came on the camera. Okay. Oh, and the powder, the color that I got is the comparable color to the foundation. It is um, 330, where are you going? 330 Toffee, okay. The powder doesn't have as many colors. I think it's something around maybe seven or eight, as opposed to the 12 that the foundation has. Let's go ahead and do a giveaway, guys. If you guys are my shade, like NC50 MAC or a little lighter, maybe NC45 too-ish. Ish, ish. Almond Glow and CoverGirl 3-in-1. Your caramel, like a true caramel Revlon color stay. And, uh, or if you are a cognac in Makeup Forever, or if you're anywhere you think you are near my shade and you just want a free foundation just to try. Since I have an extra one, yeah, go ahead and let me know down below. Let me know what you thought of foundation on me and say, hey girl, me and you is like the same color. Let me get that foundation, no. So I'll just go ahead and pick one of you guys and then ask for your information and get it out to you. I really hope I address everything that I you know, meant to in the video. You know, lately I've been forgetting things and later when I'm editing, I'm like, wait a minute, I forgot to say da da da. But you know, this is organic. Like I said, I'm on coffee and, and um, yeah guys, did you fart? <laughs> like I said, if you guys have seen it, tried it, used it, let me know what you guys think below. How does it look? Hmm. If you guys are near my color, let me know. And uh, this one's yours. This is the one that's not open, by the way. The one that I use is in the bathroom. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, and on my blog channel, I'm looking forward to see you guys over there as well. All those links will be down below. I love you guys. I hope you guys are well and in good spirits whenever it is that this video meets you. And I'll see you guys next time in another video. And as always, God bless. See, God bless. See, bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. See, bye. See, bye, YouTube. You're tired. It's okay. Uh, it's bedtime for the both of us.